So what is the perfect rhythm exercise that will lead you to be able to do what I just did? That, that uh, rhythmic uh, playing of random notes <laughs> from the blues scale that allows you to really improvise you know, for hours at a time. It never gets old because what I'm really doing is playing a drum solo as I'm, uh, as I'm uh, improvising. I go... Right? So how do you get to that place? Uh, and nobody ever taught me, so I had to develop a little method myself. And here's the method. What you do is you simply start with one note because you don't want to, you want to practice one thing at a time, right? If you practice two things at one time, try to juggle two balls in each hand, then what are you going to focus on? You won't really get any better, right? So we need to focus on one hand first, and then we can do the other hand, and then we can try to do both at the same time. That's what we're going to do here. So focus on one note at a time. Now, this is the key of E minor. I just recorded a little uh, loop here on my looper. You can use any jam track at the right tempo. But so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go one and two and three and four and to the rhythm of the music. So I'll go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? One and two and three and four. And those would be eight notes because there are eight of them uh, before I return to one. <laughs> So that's my first thing, and I'm going to uh, just play one note and see if I can improvise with just one note with eight notes. And I'm, I'm really playing with my first finger because I'm lifting it just a little bit, right? That doesn't sound too terribly sexy, but then I go on to more notes than that. I can take the two, the, the middle of four notes. We're going somewhere with this, so stick with me, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, I go. Right? And what you can always do is you focus on the upstrokes because those are often the, the things we avoid. I should say that the most important thing about this exercise, and you can choose something way slower than this, uh, and if you w w are willing to start and sound a little bit corny when you, when you improvise, then you can really get to the top pretty quickly. But what you need to do is you need to tap your foot. So when I say one and two and three, you need to tap your foot at one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two. If you play something and then I go one, basically your hand and your foot is moving in the same, you know, one and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? And if you by any, any point in time, you can't tap your foot, then you know that you've got work to do because that is absolutely the basic prerequisite of playing music. If you cannot do it, you're not playing music. You are effectively faking it. So uh, you can also, if when the music gets um, higher or faster, you can tap on only one and three. So one, two, <laughs> one, two, three, one, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, oh, just on one, right? One, two, right? Um, depending on how fast it is. But right now. Do a little phrasing once you get it. So just keep your hand moving, right? So that's the first part. And, and you might seem, oh, this sounds boring, Klaus, this is simple. But that was exactly what I was doing before, only at twice the tempo, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. This is 16 notes, not eight notes. So don't come to me and say that this sounds boring. It is the 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 genesis, it is the nucleus of this skill that we all want, right? So you get the eight notes down and you can improvise and you can tap your foot. It doesn't matter what strokes you choose with your hand, your foot just keeps tapping. Okay, so now we want to go to the other end of the spectrum. This, this, these are the only two rhythms you need to master, by the way. The, this was eight note subdivisions, but 16 note subdivisions are the same thing. It's just twice as fast, but it's the same basic challenge. 
And if twice as fast is forever too hard for you, then pick a track that's slower so you get the 16 notes down, right? Okay, so now let's do the odd, the uneven, and that is basically one, two, three, one, two, three, ba 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. So every time you tap your foot, you have three. And that is a bit of a challenge if, if you're using alternate picking because you go one, two, three, up to three, down to three, up to three. Alternate picking is down, up, right? And that's two, one, two, right? So when you combine that with three, you get the first three has a downstroke at the beginning and the next three has an upstroke at the beginning. So you go one, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, right? I used to go around like that all day in high school, just tapping my foot, down, two, three, up, two, three, 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 down, two, three, up. It's a good idea to actually to tap your hand because that's kind of really counterintuitive, right? Down, two, three. We can do that, but then up, two, three, the opposite suddenly. Up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three. That's another thing. So that's the other thing you do. And those are the only combinations you need. Now you can speed that up, right, to 30 second note triplets, right? Uh, and it's the same thing, but it's just faster and choose another jam track. So let's try and, and improvise with that. Now we did the eight notes. Now let's do the, the, the triplets. And you really need to choose a slower track than this in the beginning because you're going to need to go down, right? This is way too fast, but I'm just going to show you what I mean here. Go down to the, up to three, down to three, up to three, down to three, up to three, tap, tap. Right? You, 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 you get the idea? And, and most people say oh, rhythm is complex. This is rhythm, that's it, that's all of it. Then you, you, can, you can do a lot with this. You can say, oh, we got polyrhythms. Instead of counting four, we count five. And then we have seven, 16 notes you know, uh, on top of that. And then they meet in two years on, on one. Right? We can do all kinds of things. But basically, the, the, whole, the whole enchilada is just right there. And so if we want to learn to improvise, and we're and 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 also when we're talking about right? if we want to do all kinds of stuff like that, it's the same challenge. But in soloing, we often forget how, how important rhythm is. So I need you to do these two exercises, and what you're really doing is you're, you're strumming all on one string all the subdivisions, and then you're leaving some out, right? And that's the rhythm, that's the whole thing. And then you, in the end, it's like... That's the skill. And when we stumble and don't know what to play or can't end a line or begin a line, that's the reason. That's the rhythm. It's not the notes. There's always a note you can reach for, but there's not always a rhythm you can reach for because ah, uh, you're stumbling, right? So do the exercise, master it, do it all the time. Also, when you're walking around, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, one, two, three. You can whisper it, right? So. Be sure to click the next videos here. I'll be sure to you know keep them related to this one. 
subscribe, you must, and uh, uh, leave a comment, uh, hit the bell icon, um, and uh, go download the free course. So I think I remembered everything now. So hope to see you in the next video. Have fun practicing. Thank you.